Hello and welcome. Hola y bienvenidos a la Mosada to another lesson in from English al español al árabe al árabe where we take words and phrases and translate them from English to Spanish and then to Arabic. Happy Valentine's Day 2017. Feliz día de San Valentín. Feliz día de San Valentín. And in Arabic, Valentine's is uh, Aid al Hob. Aid al Hob. The feast of love. The feast of love. Aid al Hob. And we would say happy after that. Aid al Hob Said. Said rhymes with Aid. Aid al Hob Said. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you. I love you in Spanish. Yo te amo. Yo te amo. Unless you're Natalie Wood in West Side Story, and then she says, Yo te adoro. I adore you. Yo te adoro. In Arabic, in dialect, we say anabahebik to a girl, and to a guy we say anabahebak, anabahebak, anabahebik to a girl, anabahebak to a boy. This is just a b sound, b, and almost doesn't have a vowel, and this vowel is kind of a schwa sound, bahebik to a girl, bahebak to a boy. Here in Puerto Rico, we generally say te quiero, te quiero, te Te quiero, te quiero, but much faster. Te quiero, te quiero. We're going to take a look at the phrase that originates in the Arabic language, open sesame. But first we're going to take a look at the verb open. To open in its infinitive form in English is abrirse in Spanish, or abrir, but most of the time we have this reflective pronoun on it, like for example, what time does the store open? A que hora se abre la tienda? A que hora se abre la tienda? What time does the store open? In Arabic, all verbs, the names of all verbs, are in the third person masculine past perfect tense. So it's, to open is fataha, but it really means he opened, he opened, fataha. Now in the imperative or command form in English, it's open, open, and we often say open up, open up, or open it, open it, to command form. It's pretty much the same thing in Spanish, abre, but we usually attach a feminine or masculine pronoun at the end, abrelo, abrela. If it's something obviously feminine, like a caja, a box, abrela, abre la caja, abre, abrela, abrelo, abrelo, abre el carro, open the car, abre el carro, abre el baúl, open the trunk. And the imperative form in Arabic is iftah, iftah, with just the, the hard H at the end pushing the air out, iftah, iftah, iftah. So open sesame, which is the name of Sesame Street in just about every other language except the English language, in Spanish, it's abrete sesame, abrete sesame. It's always, always in this too familiar form, so you'd be pers personifying an object if you speak to it, like a door or a box. Abrete sesame, abrete. And in Spanish, in Arabic, it's ifta ya simsim, ifta ya simsim. Simsim, obviously, is sesame. Ya is an invocative particle, which is something like hey in English, hey you. But in Arabic, it's used much more frequently and can also be considered a sign of respect, really. Ya, ya, ya raiz, Mr. President, hey president. A little bit of vocabulary. We're going to do the phrase, the key to success, or the clause, the key to success. Success in Spanish is el éxito, el éxito, the collective, with a definite article. It looks like exit in English, but it has no relation as far as the meaning goes. It might come from the same root, but they've come to have very different meanings. El éxito. Algo exitoso, something successful. And the success in Arabic is a najah. Again, with this hard H at the end, a najah. Now, if we were speaking classical or formal Arabic, we might put the dhamma in the nominative case at the end when we say it. The, the success, it would be a najahu. A najahu. And if we take the definite article and we're talking about a success, we would say najahu. But this is in very formal Arabic. That H letter, that ha, el harf, harf el ha, the letter ha, is about two thirds air and one third short vowel. Ah, 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 ah. Can also be marked with a kesra, rendering it he, he, and or a dhamma, rendering it who. But either way, it's two thirds air and one third short vowel, usually feta, usually ha, which is the name of the letter. The key to success. The key to success in Spanish, 
Oh, let's talk about the key. The key in English can mean the physical key to open the door or a good idea. The key to success is hard work or something like that. In Spanish, there's a distinction. The physical key, which can be also mean a wrench or the handle on a spigot even, the on a valve, can be la llave. La llave is the physical one. And then whatever is figurative, like an idea or a number, is la clave. This is also musical keys, clave. La clave de fa, the key of A. And password would be una clave. It's also called contraseña. Password, code, go, code. But the key in Arabic would be the substantive, the noun would be amiftaha. Amiftaha, excuse me, amiftaha. And if we were speaking classical Arabic, again, it would be miftahu. And without the article, it would be miftahun. But this is the key. And the key to success. The key to success, because it's a figurative idea in Spanish, is la clave al éxito. La clave al éxito. This is a contraction to the success. And in Arabic, it would be miftah al najah. A lot of air in there, isn't there? But we would tend to eliminate this, this aleph here, and it would be miftah al najah. And if we speak very formally, we would pronounce the Dhamma here, it would be Miftahul Najah. And still, we would never pronounce the vowel at the end of the phrase because that's not done in standard Arabic. And this is the corresponding colors of the letters in the Arabic script. Well, I hope you learned something about success and happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for watching.